Welcome back. We are now going to do an activity that involves privilege. On your sheet, there are a list of privileges. For the purpose of this activity, you do not have any of these privileges. We have removed these privileges and you need to buy them back. Each privilege costs $100. Your facilitator is going to come around in a moment and give an amount of money to you. Your amount will be on a popsicle stick that you will pick at random. That is the amount of money that you have to spend. We will give you a few minutes to decide what privileges you would like to buy. Afterwards, we're going to come back and debrief. Though the packet says as a group, you will be doing this on your own. You will have five minutes to pick your privileges. Good luck.
Time's up. Now let's discuss. I picked a stick that has $1,000 on it. So I got to pick 10 items. I picked number one, two, seven, eight, nine, 15, 17, 20, 29, 33. I picked 900, and the ones I picked were 4, 8, 12, 13, 17, 18, 23, 24, and 30. What did you all pick? Pause here to discuss. So the next thing we are going to do is flip the page to the coming out handout, and we are going to go over this together. Coming out of the closet is the process by which someone accepts and identifies with their gender identity and or sexual orientation and shares their identity willingly with others. Sometimes we talk about coming out as if it were a one-time thing, but for most folks coming out is a series of decisions, sometimes daily, that LGBTQ people navigate in every new setting they enter. Most people aren't like Ellen, where they come out once and then the whole world knows. People may be out in some spaces and in in others, to family, to friends, to classmates, co-workers, to religious community. A decision to come out to a person or group is one of safety, comfort, trust, and readiness. It's dangerous, unhealthy, and unhelpful to force someone to come out or to out someone else, i.e. disclosing someone's gender identity or sexual orientation to others without a person's consent, regardless of your intentions. Sometimes people think they're being helpful or acting on the person's behalf to conquer their fears, but if someone comes out to you, don't say, I always knew or downplay the significance of their sharing with you. Don't go tell everyone bragging about your new trans friend. Don't forget that they are still the person you knew, befriended, or loved before. Don't ask probing questions or cross personal barriers you wouldn't have crossed earlier. And don't assume you know why they came out to you. Do. Know this is a sign of huge trust. Yay! Do. Check in on how confidential this is. Do other people know? Is this a secret? Do. Remember that their gender slash sexuality is just one dimension of many of them. Do. Show interest and curiosity about this part of them that they are sharing with you. Do. Ask them how you can best support them. 